Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Cincinnati Reds going up against the New York Mets. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. So the New York Mets have taken the first two games of this series, yeah. and today they'll Your. go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said. But every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today. But there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One out, runner at second. And now the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. And base hit. The throw in. Tag. Not in time. He scores. And it's 1-0. Jonathan India at the plate. The designated hitter. Jonathan India. Two outs and one in scoring position. That's ripped. Base hit around third. Oh, he throws it away. And he's out. Yeah. But one run does score on the error, and that'll do it for the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Reds, two, and the Mets coming to bat. Here's some real power at the plate. Jay Mack. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Coming home. The relay throw. He'll score, and they trail by one. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke the line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Here's Pete Alonso. The first baseman. Matt, over at second, oh, one down. down. And he walked him on four pitches. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right Not there, but the last one wasn't even close. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Batting six. The third baseman, Jake Berger. So two down. Now the third baseman, Jake Berger. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And that'll load the bases. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Two outs. Bases full. David Fry, the next to hit. Here's a 2 2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Now, Patty, catcher. Yay. Matt. That's in there. That's strike one. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. Center field. Friedel drifts towards it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. 
In now for the Reds, Will Benson. Friedel aboard here at first with nobody out. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. You know, nights like this, when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home runs so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Now batter, the catcher. Matt, only 18 years old, and he's been on a fantastic run at the plate, hitting over 450 in his last 10 games. That one ripped. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Outstanding catch. Now, now batting Jamer Candelario. Jamer Candelario. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Matt makes the catch, inning over. Clean work out of the Mets bullpen there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Reds two, and the Mets one. One out, base is empty. Patty. So Get up your... next for New York, Jay, Jay Matt. Matt, one for three. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Man at first with one gone, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game here in the third and final game of the series. Checks over to first, back safely. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The 1-1. Up the middle. And it gets by him. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and That's took it back call. where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Two on, one out. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Well, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip. And the matchup is very favorable. Line drive, base hit. The run scores from third. It's 3-2. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Two outs. Runner on first. Stepping in, Jay Mack. So clutch. You could no. argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable. Does a good job behind the plate. But offensively, he's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers. And their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. That one hammer, but pulled foul. Suter, 34-year-old vet, he joined the team as a free agent. Two outs. And a foul ball. This one in the air. Candelario under it. Brings it in for the third out. So one hit is all they get. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the Reds two. Man in scoring position with two away. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. 
He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets come in here and finish off a three-game sweep. This is why they turn to him to close out games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just proved it for the 35th time this season. Nice job getting it done out of the pen.